Yeah, first of all, the COP conference. We are preparing the COP conference and the French government, who is the host of the conference, it's doing well. Also, after the attacks in Paris, uh, they want that the uh, conference takes place in, in uh, Paris and that they achieve a maximum. And it's a good sign uh, with all the bad signs of the terror uh, plot in, 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 in Paris. Because we need, we need a strong agreement in Paris. Experts say that in the future refugees will come because the climate will change, especially from Africa. And there is a number in the room of 200 million refugees, climate refugees, that will come to Europe. So, and we need an agreement in, in Paris. And so... But what can that agreement achieve concerning the problems you're just talking about? First of all, adaptation and also financing, that the people have, in, uh, in, in, uh, uh, yeah, have good conditions. Are we that rich? Yeah, the, the uh, fund is uh, feeded more and more with money from, from states and 100, over 150 states are on board to show up willingness to, for an agreement and it's a good sign. But the COP conference has its own dynamic, it's totally clear and depends also on the chief negotiator. And the chief Wait. negotiator is Laurent Fabius. He is a well-known uh, foreign affair politician and he has much experience and I count really on him. But when we are talking about the emission um, problems, challenges, we could call them, they have been known for quite a long time. How comes that it is now being a uh, public matter, so to speak? First, our legislation. We have to focus and analyze our own legislation, also with the pollution scandal from, from the cars. Uh, the parliament has to really inquire, uh, are there loopholes? Uh, are there enough controls? Because if you buy a new car, you have to trust what is in the, uh, in the prospect. And if a manufacturer promised you this car uh, uh, takes three liters, or has a CO2 consumption uh, of uh, output of 100 grams, then it must be really clear that it has, and not with uh, 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 yeah, bonuses and so on, that, that the cars then use more petrol, because but then it's not necessary to, new, to buy a new car. But rumors say this has been known for a longer time than just being developed now. Yes, that's true, and also this week, uh, uh, the German Business Week, Wirtschaftswoche, uh, they uh, published an article where a spokesperson of the Commission said since 2012 the Commission was informed that there are illegal uh, uh, software That's included three years in ago. cars. It's a very long time, four years ago. And so the Parliament wants to know who was informed, when the Commission was informed and what we have to do now. Need we new legislation? What is with the control mechanisms? Need what, we other control mechanisms? What do you recommend? My recommendation is very clear that the Commission gets more power to control cars on the street um, also after 100,000 kilometers because we have a massive problem with uh, bad air in our cities and in Europe and 400,000 people died every year, uh, one year earlier, because the air quality is so bad. And so we have to improve the air quality and let's use our legislation, let's use our framework we have in place and perhaps we have to uh, improve it. Danke dir. Okay, Peter. Wir sehen uns.